Okay, we're gonna do some simple route planning from San Pedro to Santa Barbara. So I already have a route in. Uh, generally planned 5.6 knots underway. So you can see what my initial route looks like. So those are just a simple route I went ahead and plugged into OpenCPN. Now I'm in predict wind, and I've already put the pointers for the beginning and the end. I'm gonna do uh, Sunday morning at 8 a.m. And I'm gonna go ahead and calculate my route. So this is gonna go ahead and look at the wind conditions over time, and it's gonna predict a route. It's gonna look at the, you know, the four main models I look at, which are the European and the GFS model, and then the couple of variations that predict wind. Um, I usually go with the European ECMWF model. Uh, seems to be the best in this area. That's the the black line or the route there. So that gives me a route and you can see if I follow that what the wind will look like over time as I'm sailing to Santa Barbara Island. It's a really cool feature about predict wind is not just having the maps and showing you over time but you can actually look at the tables. So here I can take out the wind. Doesn't look like the wind direction or the wind angle is going to change too dramatically over this course. Um, neither is the temperature. You can see the wave heights are going to increase a, a little bit as we head towards Santa Barbara Island. Okay, we're back in OpenCPN. What we're going to do now is we're going to import the route that we just created when predict wind and see what that looks like uh, overlaid on top of our chart. There, it's a little bit faint. Um, blue line. We can open up the properties here and um, we're going to go ahead and just make this line a little bit larger so it's more visible. Let's change the color as well to green. So now you can see that the uh, the route that Predict Wind recommends. So. That would be the route if we wanted to sail um, versus the straight line, which we might do for just solely motoring. So I uploaded the Predict Wind route and just imported it into the Naviotics boating app. So now you can see the route is in the boating app. So if I want to use the, the app on my phone, I've got a copy of the route. So I just uploaded to, to Google Drive and then downloaded it to my phone. Um, so you can see here the, the waypoints for the route. You can also import the route into the TZI boat app. Take a look at what the route would look like there as well. So this just gives me a second charting option on my phone. Here you see the ECMWF, that's the European model. And there is the route imported into TZI boat. 43.97 miles, 8 hours and 48 minutes. And I can change to other chart visualizations. So this is the vector instead of the raster. These are basically the um, uh, CMAP charts. 